What is up everybody? I'm your host Lorenzo Rodriguez and today I'm going to be bringing you a brand new video. It's game day baby and you know what that means. With that we're going to be starting with Rogue Company. I know it's been really exciting for you guys to be getting your hands on it. I know drops are being put out there. If you're watching the streams, if you're watching my streams, I hope you guys are having a good time with it. I'm having a blast. It brings me a lot of memories of my Gears of War days slash Mass Effect days. That's what the game really reminds me of. And then, you know, a little bit of a twist of Valorant in there. Um, so I hope you guys are really enjoying it. And I just wanted to bring this video to really discuss the tier list that people have been asking. I have an Overwatch competitive background, so a lot of people have been asking me, hey, what are your thoughts on it? I could be completely wrong. Who knows? The game is very, very new. You know, it's only been out for, you know, two, three weeks now. I just wanted to give you guys my thoughts from my competitive experience. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate you guys' support over this last couple of weeks. So guys, here we are. Here's the tier list, Lord Enzo's tier list for Rogue Company. I'm gonna give you guys my opinion on the best characters in the game right now, all the way to the worst characters in the game. So coming at S tier, so this is what the best of the best, the creme de la creme. We're going to be having chat to start things off. I think a lot of people have been seeing him as pretty broken in a lot of cases. So I'm going to put him as S tier. So my opinion on what Chak can bring to the table. Chak is an amazing duelist with the self resurrect ability. I think a lot of people have been not giving him the respect that he deserves. A lot of people tried to 1v1 him in a lot of scenarios, especially in the early game. And it just doesn't work in their favor. Um, you know, for me, his traits, his traits, his perks, uh, you know, they work flawlessly together. I think they, they really balance each other out in the sense that other rogues out there, you know, they have a certain kit, a certain style of play, but their perks don't tr necessarily translate to their style. So I'm going to be talking a little bit more about that. But in my opinion, I think Chak is the S tier, the best character in the game right now. So guys, our next S tier rogue is going to be Saint. He's a combat medic. The guy has a global res, feel like a global res allows him to play anchor, allows him to play flanks if your Saint player is confident enough. Global res should not be taken lightly at all. Whether it's an esport environment, casual environment, or competitive environment, it allows players to play back, allows them to play aggressively, it allows them to, you know, do a lot of sorts of cool things. And you know, the resurrect is there to save the day. His Mamba is definitely the weapon of choice. I think his gadget allows for flexibility in a lot of his play. Smoke grenades, you can use the proximity mine. That can really dictate how you play as a Saint player, whether it was attack or defense. Team is not doing so hot, but your Saint is able to really turn the tide of battle with the Resurrect, then this is your man. Coming at A tier, we're gonna be talking about Scorch and Lancer. In my opinion, I think Lancer as players get more comfortable in the game, Lancer is definitely someone that is going to be top tier. I think she's very similar to Tracer in Overwatch. She gets in those back lines. She's very light on her feet. You know, she's quick. Uh, her shotgun and small, small maps are very, very crucial, very, very powerful. Um, you know, traits like quick and quiet, elusive are extremely strong. She excels at fast paced games, fast paced skirmishes. That's someone that you don't want to not have on your team. Scorch, same similar uh, play style with the skirmishes. She's the highest DPS in the game with her flame abilities. With the SLC, with overheat allows you to deal a ton of damage, which these damage over times in this game, when your health regen is not as fast as it is in a game like Overwatch and a game like Warzone, these damage over times with her flames are going to be deadly. I'm telling you guys, and these types of esports environments and professional environments and competitive environments, the damage over time with fire, these players are gonna hit their shots and the fire is going to do damage and it's gonna burst you. No hands down about it. Rosie, her melee is the strongest melee attack in the game. She's able to upgrade it. Replenish, nimble hands means more fire DPS. She's a very fast hero, very flexible. All right guys, our next rogue to be placed on the A tier of our list is our friendly neighborhood cowboy, Dallas. His weapons are strong, wins early games with revolver. His traits are insane. He has a reveal and his passive recharges every person that he gets down. He's a duelist, he's a tracker, he can go very aggressive with armor. That's something that a tracker with armor, you don't want to be 1v1ing him. If your guys are looking for one last piece of the puzzle, Dallas is your man. Our next tier is going to be the B tier, the high risk, high reward tier, and here we go. Starting it off, we're going to be talking about Anvil. 
great anchor. He's able to stabilize your team, sets the tempo on both attack and defense. He has a trophy system, and I think trophy systems in this game are so underrated, so undervalued by many casual players that I think that esports professionals and competitive players are going to utilize and are going to need. Anvil's able to stay alive and hold down the fort in a lot of different scenarios, both on attack and defense. 25 armor, life drain, tenacity, they're all going to keep him alive for a very long time, and it's going to allow him to dictate the pace of the game. Our next, our next rogue is going to be Glitch. I think in the right hands and communication, like I'm saying, he could be S tier in a lot of different scenarios. Hack slow people, they are silenced, and anytime there's a silence in any video game, silences can dictate games. They can make or break a round. For our next B tier, my next pick is none other than Trench. Some may see this as a hot take, but the utility around Trench in high competitive esports games, what professionals and high tier teams and players are gonna be able to do is utilize the utility of trench obviously with his utility he's definitely a defensive castle with c tier the niche category becomes what it is niche uh, to start off that list is going to be phantom so we start off the list with phantom she's a deadly sniper can be ruthless in the right hands you know give it to someone like shroud summit you're gonna not want to be on the enemy team um weapons are strong but if you use the DMR, she doesn't really bring too much utility. DMR, her DMR is actually a really good weapon, but if you're not running a sniper, there's not really any point of running Phantom right now. However, in the right hands, because this is a niche hero, a niche hero can either be a B tier, it can go up one, like to B tier, or it can go down one to D tier. She can be paired with you know the bruisers, such as Anvil and Trench, and she's able to dictate a lot of the turtle comps with sticky sensor and her dmr is n the damage is no joke on sniper maps obviously like i was saying she can be s tier she can be devastating in a lot of scenarios but i think if not in the right hands she can definitely be d tier our next road that's going to be in our niche category is going to be dima dima can be really really good really really powerful in a lot of situations if given the right composition the right map and of course the enemy composition depending on different communication styles and di different communication skills teams are going to be able to utilize them to be whether you know extremely aggressive or they can even use it as a retreat ability to zone out the enemy team that they're pushing aggressively i think if you don't use his ability and his passive to its full potential he can become d tier however if you use him in the right scenarios and the niche scenarios he can definitely be b tier all right, guys, this is where I may get a lot of heat from people because I know some people like these three, these last three heroes. So in the D tier category, this does not mean they're bad necessarily. Uh, they just, I just feel like they need, definitely need a lot of tuning. Let's start off this list with Vi. I think from the D tier category, she's definitely the, the best of the D tier. She's definitely a noob killer. I feel like Katana and Vile Poison, great teams are just going to be able to rotate. There's a lot of different a lot of different ways that you can counter Vi's kit. I think good players will just, like I said, will just rotate around trades. Leeching Poison is a great ability, just not enough to make Vi a, like a must pick. One of the big downsides of Vi that I think that very ne much needs uh, tuning is her perks. I feel like her perks are very counterintuitive of what her playstyle is entailed to do. Replenish, Sixth Sense, um, what's another one? Evade force her to play like a duelist however her kit doesn't set her up to be a duelist all right guys our next rogue is going to be ronin and she's going to be in the d tier category as well with vi and talon um in my opinion i feel like ronin is the jet is the soldier 76 um if you've played overwatch if you've played valorant you know what i'm talking about she has a very generic kit in my opinion i think she's great for new players which I think is totally okay for high res to balance out the rogues from the professional, competitive, and casual ranks. I feel like she's a great hero for that. I feel like her kit is lackluster. I feel like a lot of other heroes, a lot of other rogues do her job better. All right, guys, this is my tier list. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, please go like, subscribe, comment, and I hope to see you guys on my stream. I'm going to be streaming Rogue Company every day. 
uh, on www.twitch.tv slash lordenzo. You can follow me on Twitter, on Instagram, on TikTok, all that good stuff on at lordenzo96. So guys, again, thank you so much for being here. I hope to see you guys. Welcome to the kingdom, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.